I feel more comfortable and confident in myself in a way because I know that Triple H knows exactly who I am. Hey, Heartbreaker. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so that leads me perfectly into my first question. Did you watch the last episode of Neighbours? Hell no. You didn't. I don't want to be depressed. It was very depressing. <laughs> I actually shed a tear. Did you? Yeah. yeah well, Madge came back and everything and she died. She was in the last episode. How did she come back? Well, there was a whole thing. They were saying, I wonder what people who have passed away would look like now. Oh. And then we got to see her. Wow. I goosebumps thinking about it. Wow. Yeah. They, they went there with it. They went there. <laughs> they went all the way there. Yeah. Um, anyway, Rhea Ripley, how are you? I'm good. You, I'm good. You nasty piece of work. <laughs> You're so horrible That's what I now. am. Yeah, I'm a little menace. You were nice when I met you a few months ago. <laughs> Um, things change. Ha things do change. Very quickly, on a dime. Um, how was the flight over? What did you do on the flight? Um, it actually was pretty decent. Um, I watched one and a half movies and then slept the rest. What movies did you watch? So I watched Dog and then I watched half of... Um, what's it called? I have a mental blank. Um, it's always weird on flights. You I can can't, never remember yeah. what you watch. I had it in my head just before, but now I forgot what it's called. Did you eat anything? Uh, yeah, I had the food on the plane. I had beef. It was great. Yeah. So, you, is it sort of a, a business class situation? Are you private jet yet? <laughs> Maybe not at that level yet? Mate, I wish. <laughs> no, I think, I think I was in the comfort zone. Okay. Because it wasn't first class, but it also wasn't like the cram seats. Okay. Like I still technically had a little bed, it just wasn't one of the nice big ones, you okay. know? You didn't get a double bed, but yeah, you got, okay. Yeah, 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 I got the single. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. That's better, that's better than how I fly, so yeah. you're all good. It was actually nice. Um, how is it, we should talk WWE, uh, how is it going with Judgment Day? Uh, obviously big changes quite near the beginning when you shifted away from Edge. But how are things going with Finn and old Big Demo? <laughs> it's it's great. I'm having the time of my life, yeah. and I think people could tell that as well. Um, being able to go out there with the boys, they bring out a side of me that I didn't know I had in a way, and okay. it's it's sort of cool as well because I feel like the muscle of the group. They're probably going to get so mad at me for saying that <laughs> stuff, but like I feel like the muscle, and I feel like the wild card that you can't really control, and I, I just like want to fight everyone, yeah. which is something that I want to do anyway. So. I, I'm loving every second of it. And do you feel like being with them has given you confidence? Like being part of a faction is so cool. So yeah. when it comes to promos, do you feel more comfortable now? Yeah, I think it's really cool. And the dynamic is definitely starting to like build and get there as we start to feel more comfortable with each other. Like uh, Priest and I, we've always talked about being an intergender tag and because we're so similar and stuff. But now bringing like Finn into the mix, someone who I, hasn't, I haven't really worked with too much. Um, it's taken a little bit to like click and mesh and be on the same page but it's getting there and it's getting it's getting so much easier every single week we go out there together so yeah. I can only imagine what the future holds for us I think we're going to take over and I can't wait well I hope it lasts a long time i um, got to just quickly ask you before we wrap up about the, the big changes in WWE Vince is retired, Triple yeah. H has taken over creative, what changes have you noticed personally when it comes to backstage environment but also with the product um, I feel like it's definitely like family-ish okay. like I feel like it's NXT for me personally oh, really I don't know how other people feel but for me it feels like that NXT environment which I loved so much while being there like yeah. I have all my friends back the ones that have moved up and the ones that have come back um, and I'm just I'm lo loving every single second of it like it just it feels so like warm and I feel more comfortable and confident in myself in a way because I know that Triple H knows exactly who I am because he helped build me into the rear Ripley that you see today. So I know that I don't have to like really fight or struggle to express myself and like show everyone exactly who I am because he already knows in a way where I sort of had to prove myself to Vince and then since I started in the pandemic, he couldn't tell with the crowd like yeah, yeah. how they felt about me and all that. So it was always like not a struggle struggle, but it was like we were on different pages sort of thing uh, where now we're on the same page and I, I'm very happy. Well, it all feels very exciting and refreshed, and I can't wait for Cardiff. Uh, I hope you have a great night tomorrow night. Thank you. Great it's going to be great. <laughs>